Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. So excited to be with you here today to share with you a new die and part of a product line on the pinwheel. Now our pinwheel die comes with two sizes of pinwheels inside it and it is designed to be a totally interactive card. So I'm here today to share with you some tips and tricks of how this fun product works. So what we have is our pinwheel die, our pinwheel party paper pad, and our let's party stamp. I'm gonna turn the camera down and we're gonna get started. There we go, we've got the camera turned down and we're ready to look at the new pinwheel party die. This die has a base in it. It has the hole that you need so that you can make that pinwheel spin. It has the stick for your pinwheel and two sizes of pinwheel dies. We'll go over this today. It coordinates with the less party stamp, which has the word turning, and then you have the numbers down here. So you can add what number you wanna add for the age of the person with the birthday, wishing you a, a lovely day, rejoice and be glad, and love makes the world go round. So many great options. And let's talk about what you will need to make this other than these products. We're going to start with the pinwheel die. You will need that. And we're going to need some foam tape. I'm using the white foam double-sided adhesive from Creek Bank. I am using the mini brads. You will need one mini brad per pinwheel. You will need at least one glue dot, mini glue dot, per pinwheel and probably would be a good idea to have two or three handy. Optional are Embelly Jelly. I'll show you how to use that today. The um, media stick we'll be using today and a paper piercer or a pick tool. Now let's get started. The pinwheel die is designed to fit up on an A2 card. And so the first card we're gonna make is a pretty simple A2 card. And I have already stamped the greeting on the inside of my card, so that's prepared. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this die and I'm going to put it on white cardstock and I'm going to die cut it. Now when I die cut this, it's going to cut that outside edge for us and it's going to place that hole exactly where we need it to be so that we can add the pinwheel to this. Now that hole is designed to fit the slide guide. So what you can't see on the inside of here is that hole that allows that slide guide to move around. Now the next thing you're going to do is decide what, what kind of sentiment that you want to stamp on your card. And I've already done that. I used the Let's Party. There are two sizes of what you would call stick dies in this set. And I used the larger of the two and cut that on the Pinwheel Party paper pad. And on the back of it, I have our three inch wide super tacky tape. That's going to allow me to just peel and stick that on my card. So I've adhered the stick. Now I'm going to take the largest die out of the Pinwheel Party set, and I'm going to die cut that six times. Now in this case, I've cut the six different colors for the rainbow look that we've got going. So you can just pick whatever colors you want, and you're gonna wanna cut six of those for this particular card. Let's get six on there. So I wanna show you how I set this up to make the pinwheel, and I'm using a product called Embelly Jelly. This is actually sold with a wood stick, and it's actually designed years ago so that you could put the wood stick on it and move small embellishments, and it's handy for that, but I also like to use it to pick up paper fibers off of my die cuts, or today I'm gonna show you how we're going to use it to hold our everything together so that we can make our pinwheel. Now I've already die cut my pieces. You'll need six of those and then lay them out so that you have them in the order that you want them. This will be important if you're using two different colors of pattern paper and you're alternating colors. So lay them all out. Then you will take your mini brad and push that down. Use your paper piercer or your pick tool to push that down into your embelly jelly and that will hold that in place for you. Then you can start by placing your first one over the hole, the pinwheel, and then curve that around and put your second one on. 
and then you'll keep working your way across your pile that you have. You'll have them in the order color that you want, and you can see that using that embelly jelly to hold that brad frees up both of your hands so that you can continue your way around the circle. And we'll put our last color on, green. I just love these beautiful, bright, happy colors. And then we're gonna put that on there. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna divide the brad legs, open the brad legs up and push them down and then turn this over and you will be able to pull off your embelly jelly and you just have created your pinwheel. Now, as it is right now, it's very three dimensional. So um, I'm going to push that down and I'm gonna take my paper piercer and just push that brad as flat as I can get it. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm gonna, this still will move because you're on a brad. So I have discovered that it is very helpful if you secure that in place. I'm gonna move this little red one around a little bit, move that where I want it. And then I'm gonna put my hand on it and flatten it and that will make it lay flat. And then I have discovered it is very helpful if you take the Art Institute glue and this glue has the um, steel nozzle on it and what we're going to do is hold this in place. Got an air bubble there. And we're just going to place behind each one of these colors a little shot of glue. Now, if you get extra glue on it, I'm going to show you how to use that media stick to take that glue and clean it off. So your media stick is a silicone product and it is a wonder at taking off your adhesive and not leaving a mark. So if you get any adhesive on the front of this, you're just going to take your media stick and wipe that off. And then you will not have a giant swipe from your finger on it. You'll have a nice clean look. Now we're going to let that sit for a few minutes and that will help our pinwheel to stay in place. While we are waiting for that to stay in place, we are going to turn our card base over and add foam tape. I have my foam tape adhered to the back. I'm going to flip this over and then I'm going to locate my slide guide. Now the slide guide comes in that package with 24 sets in the package and they are male and female sets. So we're going to take the largest one and we're going to set that right over the hole and then take the small one and click that together. And when you click those together, you'll hear them click. And now I'm ready to adhere this to my card. I have my card here. This is an A2 card. I'm going to run adhes or undo all around the card. That's going to help me to line everything up correctly so that when I set my card over the top, when I set my card front over the top, I can move it around and I can get it to sit exactly where I want it to sit. Now that'll dry in 30 to 40 seconds. And when it does, I'll have permanent adhesion. In the meantime, I'm going to find my mini glue dot and we are going to add our mini glue dot. So we're going to pull this apart and we're going to push that mini glue dot right onto the slide guide. And you want to be sure when you do this that that slide guide doesn't pull out of the hole. So you have to kind of do it carefully. And I'm going to put a second one on there because we have that brad. I just think it helps if you use two. So two mini glue dots. Okay. Now we are ready to adhere our pinwheel. And we are going to take that and center it right over that slide guide and push it into our mini glue dot. And we have just created our pinwheel card. What a fun card. Now hang on, cause I've got more to show you. We've covered the basic pinwheel and now I wanna show you how you can step it up and have fun with uh, the different sizes. And you do need to remember that the small pinwheel is put together 
just exactly like the large one. So same construction if you're using the small one or the large, and there are two different size sticks in there, depending on which one you use. But I want to show you how I adapted this. So this die is made so that you have that die base and you're cutting this and attaching the slide guide in there. And these three cards, you can see, they don't have just the solid base like you'll find in this card. So I cut this and I add the slide guide and then I add the pinwheel. I want to show you how I amended this. For the B card, I started with the mini scalloped rectangle and I die cut that. That is my background. And then I cut a mini stitched rectangle and I stamped my sentiments on the piece that I wanted as my card front. Then you'll notice this rectangle is smaller than my die. So I can set my die on top of this, tape it in place with some stencil tape, and run it through the die cut machine. Now, when I run it through the die cut machine, let's get it straight, I am only going to run it through, I'm going to put it in the die cut machine, and I'm only going to put it in as far as the roller. So I'm going to die cut until it rolls over that piece, and then I'm going to pull it back out so I don't have it die cutting here. And I can even pull this card on top of the die so I don't have to worry about it getting any pressure put on it at all. And then I will have my hole placed in the center of my card front, and I can add my slide guide and add my pinwheel. Now, you might notice with this that I have the B showing up on every one of these little pinwheels. So in order to do that, I took the B paper pad and every time I die cut, I placed the small pinwheel die over the B. So the B needs to sit in this area on the very end Place that on there and die cut. And every time you die cut, just lay that on top so that you have a B showing every single time. I'm excited to show you how to do this, how to put this all together. We're going to take our Embelly Jelly, take our mini brad, and push it down in there with our paper piercer or our pick tool. And then we're going to place each one of these on the mini brad and turn that down. So I'm going to put it with the B face up every time and turn that down and keep working my way around. Turn it over, remove the embelly jelly, and you see I have that super fun pinwheel that has all the bees on it face up exactly the way I want them. And I've amended the use of the pinwheel die here. So let me share with you how I made this slim card. And it actually has a double. Each one of the little pinwheels has a double on it and um, super sweet. I've used our glitter paper on there for a really nice effect. So the way I did this, I started with the stitched frame and I die cut that on the white paper. I'm using that scallop paper for the background. And then I'm going to put foam tape all around the outside edge of that stitched piece. I went into my cardstock and I cut a two and a half inch square three of those that we're, in, we're going to place behind. But before we do that, I'm going to take my die and I am going to put my paper, going to take that pink piece, <laughs> take that pink piece, and I will center that on my piece with the die and I will die cut two of those, one for the top, one for the bottom, and that will give me my pink piece of paper with the hole that I need for the pinwheel. Then after I have the hole, I can flip this over, tape this in place, and now I'm ready to have my slide guide put on there and my pinwheel, and I have the double spinning pinwheel. 
So let me show you another option. This card actually might be one of my favorites because of the way it's customized. The stamp has the word turning on it and then the number. So you can say turning seven. In order to make this card, I cut the background from the party paper pad with the die, but then I took the stitched rectangle die. I located a stitched rectangle die that would fit inside the frame of that die. I went ahead and stamped turning seven on it and my little stars came off of that same, same stamp set. And then I'm going to place my die on the center of this, center it on there, tape it on, and run it through the die cut machine. Now I have placed this circle slightly off center on this. It's meant to be off center when you're using a larger panel like this because you need to have that so that you can get your stick on your pinwheel. So I'm going to die cut this, put foam tape on the back, and then my slide guide will click right into that and I can adhere that to my card front and I'm ready to go. So I'm excited to share with you how I did this. I took the largest of the pinwheel dies and I cut six of those on the die cut machine. And then I located my tiny block alphabet set. And you can see this set includes the alphas and the numbers and it's perfect for this application. So you take the die and that number needs to sit right in the second bump of the pinwheel. I want you to get a close up of what that looks like so that your pinwheel ends up looking like this. Then you're going to layer all those pieces up on the brad, just like we did with the B, turning those over. And then when you turn that over, you'll have your number five showing just the way you want it. So such a great little trick and um, you're, whoever you're giving it to will be so excited that they have their number on there. What is fun, when I dropped the numbers out here, I kept those and then I adhered them to the front of the card and added the Let's Party to the front of that card. Super fun. All right, we're on our last card here. I wanted to share with you a little trick that I discovered in using a paper straw underneath this to adhere this. And I really want to do more designs with this. I just haven't had the chance. I do want to show you how to do this though. So to start with this card, I started with the A2 card and I stenciled the background. Wrong one. There's the right one. I stenciled the background and I've adhered that to my card. You may notice that this is design is similar, but there is no hole in the middle. And this is the mini scalloped rectangle set that we have and they're stacked several in there and it is the same design as you'll find that's in the pinwheel. The pinwheel die set also has that hole in the middle. So I've used the mini scalloped rectangle for the background. I use the star swish stencil for the background. And then I'm going to locate the mason jar die. And I'm going to cut the smallest jar that's in that set. Then I used the I hope your day is amazing stamp set. This has some really good sentiments. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a beautiful day. You're a fabulous work of art and just for you. And I use that just for you stamp quite a bit. So I have already stamped just for you on there. And then I'm going to go back in with my pen and I'm just gonna draw some jar detail there along my jar just to give it a little more detail. There we go. Then I have my jar ready. I am going to locate that die that came with it. There's my die. And I'm going to take my self-adhesive foam. Now we sell this in a six by eight sheet. It's meant to be die cut. So I can set my die on this right up here, run it through my die cut machine, and it's going to cut the exact same shape as my jar. So the beautiful thing is I can overlay one onto the other, as you can see here, 
it's the exact same shape. In this case, I'm going to take that jar and I am going to trim out the inside of the jar. So I want to cut that down. So there's just about a quarter of an inch of edge all the way around. Then I will remove the red liner, put my undo on this piece so that I can line everything up. And then when I set my mason jar on there, I'm going to have an exact fit and I'm going to have that space that I need so that I can slide my straw right down into that and attach my pinwheel to it. So I'm gonna set that on my card. Now I want to show you how I did the straw. This is a paper straw. You can buy it at the dollar store. And what we're going to do is take that straw and I cut it in half because you don't need that much straw. And then we are going to take our scissors and cut down into it about an inch. And then come in from the left and to the right and clip that open so you can lay it flat. And you just need to clip it enough so that it, it will lay flat. Peel it open, and there we go, it'll lay flat. After I have my piece cut open, I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to place that circle right in the center of the square that's on the straw. Tape it in place, run it through your die cut machine. Tape it in place, run it through your die cut machine, and that's going to give you your straw with your hole in the middle. Now you'll need to reinforce it a little bit. So I take a piece of my super tacky tape quarter inch, put it on heavyweight cardstock, cut two of these and slip that right inside. And you want that to sit right in there. I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. We don't want the edge of this paper right on the edge of the hole. We want it slightly off so that the slide guide can move. But now we've stabilized it and you can use your pick tool in there to push that down. And now we have the device that we need to slide down into our jar, in our jar here. And you can see, you have to smoosh it a little bit, but you can slide it down in there. And now you have your base for your pinwheel. Now I took my scissors and I just trimmed this off a little bit so that it looked more like a circle. It does not show, but it's just nice if it's nicer looking. Trim it off. And then you can build your pinwheel right on here. Put your slide guide, click your slide guide on, build your pinwheel like we did earlier, and then slide that right down in your jar and you have your pinwheel sticking out of your jar. How fun is that? So it's just another great creative option with it. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the creative things that get done with this die. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun video. I will put a link to the items used in the description below. If you could give us a thumbs up and write a kind comment in the section below, that would greatly help us. Thanks for coming to party with me today.